Hello Internet, James Allen from Mount of Eight, and today I'm playing the Transit Design sequel, Cities in Motion 2. Uh, I reviewed the original game, so mainly going to be looking at what's different in this updated version. Uh, as for new features overall, it features dynamic cities that grow depending on how successful you are at designing your system. It has multiplayer, uh, which you can see over here. Uh, you can do both competitive team play and cooperative matches. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it also has a couple of other uh, in-game uh, differences that I'll show off. It has the campaign, just like before, where it gives you a series of objectives, but I'm going to do the sandbox mode. First thing you'll notice is that there are no real-world cities, and there's only a handful to choose from. There's five and then a tutorial city, which is pretty disappointing, uh, to be quite honest about it. Um, now there is a map editor, a map editor, uh, that you can create your own cities with. Uh, and I suspect that there will be a lot of DLC coming uh, over time to add in more cities into this. So I'm just going to pick a city. Uh, you'll notice you can uh, check off certain things like the city growth and the objectives. But I'm just going to choose the default and hit start. I do like the loading screen here. It's pretty nifty. Overall, uh, and you'll see why shortly, um, I actually like the original game better uh, for reasons that will become apparent as I uh, rail into this in a couple minutes here as soon as this map loads up. This is suspense. As the people walk onto their little trolley tram thing. There we go. All right. So here's your little city. Uh, the first thing I notice is that you can't scroll by moving your mouse to the edge of the screen anymore, which is really annoying, to be quite honest. Uh, the graphics have gotten an upgrade, but for reasons that I'll show in a little bit, I actually prefer the graphics of the old game better. Uh, these are a lot less clear to understand what's going on. In general, the interface is worse than it was in the uh, previous game. Uh, things that required one click or two clicks before have an additional click now. For example, uh, before, if you wanted to see like the map modes to show what all the buildings uh, look like, you can just, it was over here, but they don't have that anymore. Now you have to go to data panel and click on the building. So it's one extra step. You know, it's kind of the same thing with the lines. All the lines are here and depots, which are new, and I'll get to in a, a little bit. Let me pause time here. Uh, you know, it's just extra steps. Constructing a structure, then build the buses. It's an extra step, which just it seems unnecessary. Uh, and I was really hoping that the interface would be a lot better and more streamlined, but it's actually worse than it was uh, previously. Also, the minimap is basically unusable. Uh, you almost always have to pull up the large map to kind of see things that are going on. It makes it really hard to find where your lines are located. Uh, so let's just get started. Uh, let's turn on my map mode here. I also forget where stuff is. There's my buildings. Uh, so let me just go over here. This looks like homes and workplaces are pretty well uh, adjacent to each other, so this will be a good place to start. So the first thing I'll do is go to my tools, and everything has to have a depot now, uh, which is more realistic but actually kind of annoying and limiting for your designs. So I'm going to do a basic bus depot right there. There you go. And all lines now have to start and finish at the depot. Uh, and then basically I'm just going to do some trolley s or some bus things here. You can see the little circle of coverage which I'll try to make them you know pretty adjacent. Uh, in here, and then we'll go over to where all these things were. And that'll be good. All right. So that's that. Next thing I need to do is build a line. So you go over to transit lines, create a new bus line, add stops, start at the depot, stop one, stop two, stop three, stop four. 
it and back to the depot and there you go and once you create it one nice thing is it'll actually automatically start running it um, and what you do with your vehicles is you actually buy them and then it automatically assigns them which is kind of nice that's one streamlined feature that I do like uh, so I'm gonna add a couple buses there and they'll automatically be in that uh, that line there so uh, they're ready to go so as soon as I unpause time we'll see the bus is starting to leave we zoom in here and there they go we uh, one complaint that I have it's these statistic things which are where all the happy and sad faces are are too small now they clip into the landscape the the engine doesn't seem to isn't clear enough to be quite honest I'm gonna put this on double speed here um, you know same thing with the map the maps you know it's just easy it was easier to find it before than these hyper bright you know displays here you know there's traffic and the coverage for my line there so um, yeah, the, the icons are just too small to see. I don't enjoy that too much. We'll let that kind of go a little bit. Um, once I start getting customers, one thing that is nice is that the, you do have useful feedback now. Uh, it'll tell you exactly why the customers are unhappy with your lines, which I'm sure I'll see here in a little bit. So let me uh, let that go for a little bit. Uh, I think over on this side, let me pull up my map view again. I think I'm going to do a little trolley way over here. So what I need to do, one thing new you can do is you can actually build roads now. Uh, for example, I could build an avenue, you know, and there's lots of different ones. You know, it gives you the number of lanes, whether it has sidewalks or not. You know, you start from here and just drag it out. There you go. So new avenue, hooray. Um... So let me do a tram line here. All right, so first thing you have to do is you actually have to build the track, tram track. And I'm gonna just going to do one, and I'm going to kind of start it here. Now, the way that it, that it lays is you build it segment by segment. You can't drag and drop anymore with very good precision. So what you have to do, and it's really hard to see if you're zoomed out, is kind of connect it to existing parts like you can't before you could just drag on the roads and make it in like two seconds now especially with a long line it's a tedious exercise to get these things going where you want them to go so I'm just gonna kinda run this thing this way here I'll go this way you know is that connected I can't really tell so I you know have to change my view and I got a little objective coming so again this is something that would have taken me about five seconds previously but now oh look there's a building and I forgot to build my uh, depot did I? no yeah I did I did forget to put my depot there you go and now I have to build my track for that too so There we go. All right. Let's see what this guy says. And I did, you know, building pops up. That's pretty cool. Okay. So I'll build a line at the shopping center. All right. So now I'm going to place my stops for trams. So I'm just kind of... And see, it's, it's hard to see where my line is. This mini-map is so small you can't tell. Uh, that's underground view. So you kind of have to bring up this big map that again still doesn't help at all you know where are all my stops located or my track you know where's my track heck where was I two seconds ago now I've lost myself oh here I am all right you know so you again you got to zoom in and kind of hunt for the tiny little tram lines so I think you're there Again, the interface just fights you. All right, that's all I really need to do there. All right, so let's make a 
A tram line. Oh no, not vehicles. New line. Add stops. Start there. 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 Oh, why? Can I not connect it? Nope. Of course not, because I couldn't see. Tram track. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, so that little bit. Whatever. We back up to the station. There we go. So there's that. I need to add some vehicles to it. So vehicles. And we'll buy a couple trams. There they go. We'll buy a small guy too. Uh, another thing here is that now the uh, stats are on tooltips instead of being displayed under it. I don't know why they changed that. It was a lot more useful last time. And there you go. So I got a tram going. You can see that the tram is red. Passengers are unhappy. If you click on the list of passengers, the vehicle is late. So that's pretty clear uh, why it was late on that. So let me go back to my lines and show you uh, one of the other features here is now you can do timetables. So you can choose when the trains want, run, what day of the week, how often they're dispatched. So I'll set, you know, set that to an hour or whatever. Uh, you know, so that's kind of a micromanager's dream there. And there's also presets. You know, if you don't like, you know, I can just set it to just do the evening rush for 30 minutes, which seems kind of silly. Uh, but I'll set that one I need to do. It's Tram Depot 1's telling me not enough vehicles. So I had vehicles. There we go. So now I got a couple lines going. Uh, another thing you can do is, where is it? Here we go. Uh, loans, employee wages, <laughs> like ignore 1% of passengers. So the drivers are just going to ignore people based on their wage. Gives you a little happiness rating there. Uh, here's your ticket prices. One thing you can do now is define different parts of town to have different rates. So you could have like the tram on this part of town be more expensive than the tram on the other part of the town. So here's your defined zone. So you can like color it in. You know, blue. So there you go. There's your zone B for blue. So when you go back to here, you know, it uh it tells you. And when you overlap zones, then it raises the price basically. So that's how it works. All right, so let's kind of wait for these. To, we'll accelerate time a little bit more. Wait for these to generate money, supposedly. Uh, I want lines. Here we go. So for this one, it says it's supposed to stop at 2,200. So where's my bus line over here? All right. So, despite the fact that it's set to not run at night, you'll notice that a bus just left the depot. So I think timetables just don't work. They're completely broken. I think that the intervals are right, but it doesn't dispatch the vehicles correctly. Like, it's now, you know, 2 in the morning and that thing is running, even though I told it to stop you know, four hours ago, five hours ago. So. See, and there it goes again. Another bus going at three in the morning to pick up two guys. So, you know, what's the point of having some a new feature if it doesn't work? Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, overall, I just don't like this as much as uh, the first version of the game. Um, the interface is much worse uh, it's harder to to find where stuff is. Uh, the icons are too small. It's starting to be in the morning now. Um, the new features are really kind of 
just okay. Like the dynamic city, uh, city stuff, having nighttime with the timetables. You know, timetables probably be better if it actually worked. You know, but nobody's using my tram at all. Not yet, anyway. So, you know, the use of roads is potentially interesting. Let's do regular road. Let's do a new road. There you go. And it had a tunnel. Hooray. So that's pretty cool that, uh, that I'll put buildings up there. Uh, so. A multiplayer is potentially interesting if you have people, you know, competing on the same map. I, for whatever reason, I found that people just don't use your stuff as much this time, this version, as they did last time. It's just harder to get people to ride it. Like, normally I'd have, like, 30 people waiting for this bus by now. But now there's zero on my whole line. There's three people now. So for whatever reason, um, people just don't use your stuff as much. I don't know why. There's nobody on this tram line. I mean, previously it would have been... Uh, packed by now. So, I don't know. I don't know why they're they're not using it. And if you go over to the lines, no one's complaining. It's no one's really writing it, of course, but... So... Uh, let's see this objective here. Build one line to the shopping center and transport 50 people. Yeah, that'll take forever. <laughs> 50 people. Oh, there's another one. Build one line to art gallery. 70 people. All right. Well, let's build this line over here. Uh, map mode. So used to going over that side. Uh, so basically just over here. I'm just going to build a cheap bus line, I think so much easier. I gotta build another depot. I'll just bulldoze your house. Sorry buddy, you're in the way. I mean I get why the the depots are added, but they don't really add anything to the game. Let's do that. Where is this thing? Right there. Alright. Just gonna kinda go Let's go down this. No, oh, I can go down the street. No, oh, should cover you. There you go. That's good enough. Uh, da, 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 create new. Add stops. See, like that. That zero is hidden by that building. I mean, it's almost. Now you can't even see it if you're zoomed in too far. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I need that vehicles. I think. I don't know if it'll add it to that or not. Ah. <sighs> Oh. Just wait for my thing. Oh yeah, I gotta. I just forget about pausing. Five vehicles. There we go. There you go. All right, so. Which line is this? Line two. So I might think I tell to send a uh, bus every two hours. So we'll see what happens. That one left at like 1,400. So we'll see. Wee. There it goes. Pretty close. 
pretty close. <sighs> I actually got a passenger. Hooray. Alright, let's see. Let's see my budget. While this thing cranks along here. Uh, I raised my ticket prices. Yeah, so I'm losing a ton of money. <laughs> it's not really surprising considering I have absolutely nobody running my stuff. No, there's 51. Alright, so. It's just gotta get more people to go. And then I'll get that objective. And all that cash. So that one was pretty easy. So again, there's like nobody on these lines. And I guess it's because I'm not transporting them very far, but... I mean, it said businesses and residences. Oh, looks like people are cropping up on that new road I built, so that's something. So, and I mean, that's the game. Uh, I like the premise of the game, but just I just like Cities in Motion one more. Uh, you know, the dynamic cities in the nighttime don't really add too much to the gameplay. It's interesting when stuff crops up on roads that you built. So it's kind of like SimCity in that sense a little bit. Uh, the multiplayer is potentially interesting if the rest of the game was uh, usable. You know, the difficulty has been amped up for reasons I don't know because your lines just aren't used in scenarios where they would have been used last time. Uh, making your, especially tram lines and stuff, is extremely difficult and time-consuming. Uh, there's less clear data than before, except for the customer feedback. Uh, you know, the I, the graphics are look better, but perform worse when you're trying to manage your company. Uh, and using the timetables would be great if it actually worked uh, the way that they said they would, uh, which they don't. Uh, so, you know, I can't recommend it. Uh, you know, if you want this style of game, honestly, just go back and play Cities in Motion 1. Uh, you know, they basically, I wish they would have improved the ease of getting lines built, and they actually made it the same and even worse uh, before. And now you have the added complexity of having to put depots down, using timetables that don't actually work. Like now I have all these buses out at 3 in the morning, even though nothing's supposed to be running now. Um... So they're just using up energy with no passengers. So, you know, I don't understand why the timetable's not working there. But anyway. Uh, so, there you go. I mean, that's that's basically it. You know, the problems are too significant that impact the gameplay and how you play the game. So, uh, that's all I have for today. And until next time, bye now.